Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Tuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question one from the May 2016 POE paper two. If you want to take a look at the other solutions for this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and the link in the description below. So be sure to check those out. And with that said, let's get into the question. So as we normally do, we're going to take a read of the information. So Metivier and Moreno have been in partnership over the last year. Their partnership agreement includes the following. So we have a little table here. What does it say? Interest on capital, 10% per annum. Interest on drawings, 5% per annum. Okay, so part A to the question is asking, other than the rate at which profit or loss is to be shared, name two other features that may be included in a partnership agreement. And that's just two marks. So you get a mark for each feature. So, of course, you know me. I like to give you way more than two. So let's start, right? So interest on capital and drawing. So you could have used the information given to you in the question to get your two marks, right? So they were being, they were being kind. Next, we have salaries allowed to partners, then limits on drawings, procedures for admitting a new partner, procedures for the dismissal of a partner. Now, those things aren't really on the C6 syllabus, but they are still details that could be included in a partnership agreement, so you should be aware of them. Procedures for dissolution, responsibilities of each partner, the capital to be contributed, and the name of the partnership. Of course, this list is not exhaustive, so I invite you to do your own research and maybe put a, put a list in the comment section below and I'll pin the best list. Okay, now let's see what they're asking in part B. Since the partnership agreement of Metivier and Moreno is silent, what rate should be used to share the firm's net profit or loss? And that's just one mark. So that's something that everybody should know once you know about partnerships. If the partnership agreement is silent on how to share profits or losses, they share them, equally so profit should be shared equally between the partners okay let's take a look at part two okay so part c to the question says metivier and moreno who contributed capital of one hundred and twenty thousand in the ratio of seven to five recorded the following balances on the 31st december 2015. so we have net profit before interest long-term liabilities six percent loan forty-one thousand. interest is not yet paid that's going to come in handy later and we have drawings for metivier and moreno and they want us to prepare the profit and loss appropriate well, profit appropriation account for the partnership for the year and the 31st December 2015. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take that interest away from the profit because interest is an expense and you cannot appropriate profits until all expenses have been covered. So of course, as you can see on the right hand side there, please don't forget to head up your uh, financial statement. So name of the partnership, the name of the statement, the period to which it applies and your dollar signs. So we're going to start off with the net profit before interest of 77,404 and we're going to minus the loan interest. So 6% of 41,000 is 2460 and that's going to give us a net profit before appropriation of 74,944. The next thing we have to deal with is the interest on the drawings. So that's going to be, at, as we could see down here, right, 5% per annum. So we're going to find 5% of the drawings of 3600 for Metivier and 5% of 1920 for Moreno, giving us 180 and 96 respectively, totaling 276, which is then added to your net profit before appropriation. And then that is what we're going to appropriate. Okay, so the interest on capital for Metivier and, oops, right, for Metivier and Moreno is given at 10% per annum. Now, how do we figure out the capital? Because, I mean, they told us that the contributed capital of 120,000. But it's in a ratio of seven to five. So how do we deal with ratios? We add the two numbers together. Seven and five is 12. And then we put each number over that total. So Metivier and Moreno gave a seven to five split. So that's a seven twelfths to five twelfths split. So Metivier gave seven twelfths, Moreno gave five twelfths. So you're gonna multiply seven twelfths by 120. That's gonna give you 70,000. Five twelfths by 120 will give you 50,000. And of course, 70,000 plus 50,000 is 120,000. So we're going to find 10% of those figures. So interest on capital for more, well, Metivier, 10% of 70,000 is 7,000. For Moreno, is 10% of 50,000, which is 5,000 for a total of 12,000. There were no salaries, so we're just going to subtract that from the 75 to 20 to get 63 to 20. And now we're going to share that residual profit. And don't forget, remember they asked us if the partnership agreement was silent on how to share profit, how would we share it? Equally. So each partner is going to get an equal split of the 63 to 20. All right. So Metivier and Moreno get 31,610 each. All right. Lovely. So if you need a refresh on how to do appropriation accounts, I have a video which I'm going to put a link to up there and in the description. I have 14 examples. Check it out. It's worth the time. Okay. Let's check out the next part of the question. Okay. So part D, it says other account balances recorded for Metivier and Moreno are as follows. 
So we have fixed assets, which we now know we refer to as non-current assets. Then we have current assets, 18,000. Now, you, you see in total liabilities here, but I'm gonna show you something, right? It actually said current liabilities, but if we use that figure as the current liability figure, the balance sheet will not balance. So I believe it's an error in the paper, and I'm hoping in that year, 2016, there was an errata sheet that told students what the error was. But I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna use that figure as total liabilities. Now it says, to prepare the statement of financial position, balance sheet, as at 31st December 2015 from Metivier and Moreno showing clearly the firm's working capital and details of each partner's earnings in the capital section. Ah, all right. So in one of my earlier videos, I made mention that CSEC is currently moving away from the working capital presentation for balance sheets, and they're kind of taking a more single column approach, which I have included in my more recent videos or in other videos, but this one is asking specifically for you to show working capital. Now, there's no one right presentation for a balance sheet. There's no one right format. There are wrong things to do, but there's no one right way. So I'm gonna do my version of this. If you have a different version, please feel free to say so in the comment section below. And they're also asking for details of each partner's earnings in the capital section. So the question we did before, the piece we did before with the appropriation account, that is how the partners um, get distributed their earnings. So we're gonna to have to show those details in the, current, in the capital section. So don't worry, I got you covered. Let's start at the top with the non-current assets and then attach current assets to that as well. Okay, so we're gonna come across here, non-current assets 220, current assets 18,000. No, don't forget, right? They want us to show, sorry, the working capital or as I refer to the net working capital, which is current assets minus current liabilities. So we're going to need a current liability section. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So uh, you're not seeing how these things are laid out. You're seeing everything kind of one on top of the other, but the, the information on the left-hand side, the top and bottom pieces were on different pages. So you had to be mindful to look back to the previous parts of the question to be able to pull all of the necessary information. What I mean by that is that, you see how it says interest not yet paid? That's an accrued expense. So we have to put in that accrued interest here, right? 6% of the 41,000. And then the remaining current liabilities Right, so you're seeing a working. So let me explain this working. So, like I said, the total liabilities for the entity was 48,576. The non-current liabilities was 41. So if you take the 41 from the 48,576, you're going to get tot the total four current liabilities. 24,6, the out of it is already accounted for by the accrued interest. Therefore, the remainder would be whatever else was classified as current liabilities in this question. Now, they didn't give us details, so we don't want to assume, we don't want to speculate. Right? But it could have been stuff like accounts payable, it could have been stuff like accrued expenses, prepaid revenue, whatever the case is. We add up those since we get 75, 76, we subtract that from the current asset figure of 18,000 to get 10,424. We add that to the non-current asset figure above to get 23424. Now we subtract the non-current liabilities of 41,000 to give us net assets of 189,424. Okay, so that's the assets minus liabilities on top. Let's go to the capital set. So financed by Metivia and Moreno. So we have the capital balances, right? So the capital account balances are 70,000 and 50,000. Remember, we got that because we had this line across here, right? They contributed capital of 120 in the ratio 7 to 5. <laughs> Remember how we split this apart up in the appropriation account, right? 7 12s and 5 12s. Right. Now, we need to show the details of the earnings. So we're going to show the current account information. So just give me a second. I want to actually put the current, the appropriation account information on top so do I don't have to keep scrolling up and down. One second. Okay, so Matevia Marina would have no opening current account balances. So the first thing I would put would be the interest on capital, which you're seeing on top here, 7,000 and 5,000 respectively. Then I would put, well, there are no salaries, so I would then put the share of the profit, the 31, 6, 10 for each of them. Now we're talking about the deductions, right? So we're gonna put drawings first. Now the drawings for each partner were given to us across here, 3,600 and 1,920 respectively. And then on top here, you're seeing interest on drawings, 1,896, so that's gonna be put in there as well. And then the totals, if you add and subtract going down, so the, the figures in brackets, by the way, are, are negative figures, debit figures. So you add and subtract going down, you're gonna get the current account balances for each partner here. And now you have your total current account balance here, which when added to the 120, gives us the 189,424. And if we remove this split, we're gonna see that the total owner's equity matches with the net assets, right? 
Anyway, ladies and gents, that's about it for this question. If you want to see more videos, I'm going to put some cards up here. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you know every time I release a new video. Don't forget to check out my website so you can get free POA handouts. And of course, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.